food already. Let's talk about R&B week with Superstition. You had said something that week, like you'd gone for the note again, because you thought, well, this worked and want to crack the top 10. This week is so important to all of us. And if, if I had to do it one more time to get through <laughs> to the top 10, it's something that I can do and, it, and, and it's different. Was that as much a decision about like you felt it belonged in the song or did you feel like that week it was a little bit more strategically like I need to make the top 10 this week? Stevie Wonder does do kind of a scream mm -hmm. in that song. I remember having a really hard time picking that week. I think that was the week they changed the theme on us. That was probably the hardest time I ever had picking a song. Okay. There's kind of this theory that I know I share with a lot of people like Paige. When in doubt, sing Stevie Wonder. You can't really go wrong. He's brilliant. There is a scream in it. So mm -hmm. I was like, if they rag on me for it, it's not like it was totally out of place. Mine was probably much longer. But, you know, it was still, it was my version of what, of what he did. Yeah. I did want to get to the top 10 and be on the tour, and so I wanted to do something that was still very, that's Siobhan, that's her thing, and, and I want to hear more of it. I guess I was hoping would be people's reaction. Right. Every round you make it through, you make new goals. When your goal is to get to top 12, you do that. Siobhan, congratulations, you have made it into the top 12. And then your goal is to get to top 10, so you make the tour. Siobhan. You're gonna have to pack your bags this summer because you're going out on tour. You start thinking at that point, I have a shot to win this. You start looking online at some of the polls, at some of the comments, talking I, about like Siobhan might have a shot to actually I win this. I never looked online. I still don't because a lot of people warned us not to and I'm not like an internet person. Mm -hmm. I'm so easily frustrated. I'm like, load already! Or I'm like, you know, I never, I never even, really had a computer mm -hmm. up until a couple of years ago I got a hand-me-down laptop for school. The whole like wireless internet th thing to me is still I'm getting used to it. Right. I had um, a dial-up AOL at home that we never even used up until <laughs> up until a few months ago okay. and so it's never even really a thought of mine to go look online anyway. Mm -hmm. I'm a bit of a caveman in that sense, because a lot of the other contestants are like, right after the show, they're on their iPhones. Oh, what's everybody saying? You know, and it's just not something I really care about because the few times I've seen anything online, there's, there's some good stuff. Mm -hmm. But for every person that likes you, there's probably 10 who hate you mm -hmm. for whatever reason. And, you know, they're bored or, you know, they just want to be heard, so they'll say something horrible. And I've read a, just a couple things that I was like, that's enough, that's all I want to know, and, you know. Back to dial-up. Yeah. You know. Yeah.